Hey everybody, I'm Chris Voorhees at Planetary Resources. I want to talk a little bit today about an event in space this week uh, that happened on the surface of Mars. Um, uh, this week, uh, NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory reported that um, the Mars rover Opportunity had uh, driven a, the distance of a full marathon, or 26.2 miles, over the course of its 11-year uh, investigation of the Red Planet. Uh, and uh, for me, that was kind of a mind-blowing uh, number because I remembered that almost 15 years ago, uh, we uh, started the conceptual design and development of putting a rover inside of an airbag landing system. And that concept eventually became the Mars Exploration Rover Project, which we eventually named the two rovers, Spirit and Opportunity. Uh, and I got uh, the opportunity as a young engineer uh, way back then uh, to see that project from its very beginning all the way through to, uh, to operations on the surface uh, as part of the team that pulled together the mobility system for the vehicle, um, the drivetrain, its suspension system, and kind of how it operated on the ground, which has become a really, really big part of um, exploring the surface of that world. Uh, and it was originally uh, designed to drive uh, one kilometer distance uh, and last for about 90 sols. Uh, sol is a Martian day. Uh, now it's 11 years later, it's driven over 40 kilometers or 26 miles, and uh, I'm still wrapping my head around how that vehicle is still alive after teetering on edges and climbing at its extremes and getting stuck a couple of times. And um, what's great is as an engineer, getting to see the product that you help bring into being, uh, get fully utilized, uh, do everything it was supposed to do, and then a whole lot more. And it's uh, opened our eyes up to uh, the red planet in a way that, it, that we didn't really know before and that it was once warmer, once wetter, uh, in, a, in kind of a big way, uh, that uh, because opportunity is still roving, we're still discovering today.